What's up guys, Timmy here and today I'm going to bring you a short tutorial on how to fix textures and materials and how to apply them to skeletal meshes if they're not applied when uploaded properly. So, first thing we're going to do is bring up our packages and I'm going to do Artemis because I had someone request uh, how to fix her. And we're going to go down and we're going to find the main Artemis package and go ahead and import it. And it, we'll go ahead and look at it and if you notice right away the skeletal mesh it has no textures the material is completely blank it's just a uh, 3d model no textures whatsoever and if you go up to find the material that is assigned to the skeletal mesh which it will usually be named the same thing as the um, as the skeletal mesh that you want to work with in this case ours is Artemis so you want to look for matte Artemis so if you want to you can actually check materials and there's matte Artemis. You go ahead and open it up just to make sure it's the correct one. Usually it will have the skeletal mesh that you want to work with. Um, in this case it's Artemis. Sometimes there will be a ball there and uh, there's a way to fix that but that will have to be another tutorial. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close that out. And what we need now are the textures to fix the material. So we're going to go down and find the Artemis textures. And we're going to go ahead and upload those or import those we'll click on the textures and go ahead and make it to where we can see only the textures and if you look at the textures here you'll notice a few different names first of which we see T underscore Artemis bore now that's obviously the textures for the bore we don't really need to work with those at all so we'll skip all the ones that say bore the next is Artemis vines we don't need those and these last six here are all God Artemis. So these are all textures that need to be applied to that material in order for it to look like the skin that we see in the game. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go back to the main package. We're going to find the main material that we need, which is matte Artemis. We're going to open it up. And we're going to leave it just like that. Now go back to God Artemis textures. Make sure you can see the textures. Now find your way back to your material editor that you opened up just a second ago. Keep your content browser over here where you can see it. Now we're going to find, if you'll notice the at the end of these textures, you'll see DIF00, um, MSK0100, uh, SPC, all this stuff. Those correspond with different layers of textures that go on the material. So DIF corresponds with diffuse so what we're going to do first is drag it over here we're going to connect the black box to the black box on the fuse and now the three main ones that you need to worry about are is diffuse the normal and the specular so you're going to find those three first we got diffuse already over there we'll look through here you notice this one says NRM00 that's normal we're going to drag that on over connect it to normal black box to black box and then SPC stands for specular we we'll to drag that over connect it to the specular black box now the rest of these um, you it's kind of unclear which textures go where um, you can mess around with some of these other textures and apply them to see to get the full effect of what it looks like in the game but for now we're just going to break the link of all the ones that we didn't connect anything to and this will allow all those textures that we applied to show up on the material. So you can zoom in here you'll notice that the textures are applied properly everything looks good on the skeletal mesh and like I said you sh can um, experiment with how to add these other ones to see if it would make uh, things look better. This one for instance says mask so I can try to connect it to the mask and see if it makes it look any better. Uh, if not we could try a different mask. Um, we can try to put it to transmission color see if that works see if it does anything uh, we'll put this up here right quick now basically what this is doing is just adding depth to the material um, these masks and stuff aren't necessarily uh, needed but anyways after you've added the textures and experimented with whatever and got it looking the way you want just go ahead and click that check button and that'll apply the textures to the material so that it'll apply itself uh, properly to the skeletal mesh so once you have that all done, you can go back to the main package, 
we'll look at materials only and find our material and now you'll notice if you put your mouse over it it will have um, a thumbnail with textures on it also it'll have new instructions to it so that's really good uh, we're going to bring up our skeletal mesh now now sometimes the material that you that you've been working with will automatically apply itself to the skeletal mesh in some cases it won't um, like this one right here so I'll show you how to apply the material to the skeletal mesh that we just fixed so you want to open up your skeletal mesh in the anim set editor after you have it open click back to the content browser and find your material now select the material don't open it up just select it make it make sure it's highlighted we're gonna go back to the anim set editor in the bottom left corner you'll see a properties place now scroll down to where you see materials click on materials so that it brings drop down a drop down arrow now with the material you want highlighted click the le the green arrow that is facing left now when you do that it's going to apply the material to the skeletal mesh and it'll highlight the material so to unhighlight the material just click over here in properties you can pretty much click anywhere on properties and it'll unhighlight that so now we have our material successfully um, applied to our skeletal mesh uh, everything looks just fine if it was in a lit scene with a lot of light it would look even better and uh, we can scroll down in our content browser and now you notice when you hover over the skeletal mesh the materials applied so it'll be there every time and now just to show you that it works with uh, animations and stuff as well I'll show you the animations for Artemis with the texture applied just to show you that it works properly Okay, we're going to go ahead and open her animations up and there she is posed that's her death animation then we have the laugh emotes and so on and so forth so yeah that's it guys um, it's really pretty simple if you have any questions or if you have any trouble just don't uh, feel free to go ahead and comment or uh, send me a message I um, don't care to help at all if you all enjoyed the video or if the tutorials are helping you all make sure to hit a like button and I'll keep up with the tutorials uh, and if you have any questions or you have any specific gods that you would like me to show off or any skins or anything like that um, feel free to leave them in the comments and thanks for watching so much guys y'all have a great day peace